Hi guys, I want to give it another go. Last time I've installed... Well, let's go back a few steps in my mind. A few days ago, somebody says as a suggestion on Discord, isn't there an, an installer that's not with Calamars for Arch Linux? I say, yes, of course we have. It's called Arch Linux. Arch Linux is how you can install Arch Linux. 90% of the packages are coming from Arch Linux. So if you get Arch Linux, if you can get it installed, all you have to do is go to archlinux.info, scroll down, get the ASA or the Arch Linux Spices application, get in the keys, get in the repos, boom, in no time you're up and running all the videos on archlinuxd.com in phase seven, eight, uh, I don't know, right? Look at the menu. Option two, and that's what I want to try with you. Option two, it took a while, like years, until it was actually included on the Arch Linux ISO, an other way than the Arch Wiki way, right? Because there is the Arch Wiki uh, way of installing, and it's all documented, uh, the guide how to install Arch Linux, and it's it's com it's big, it's 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 complex, and. I get it that people who are new to Linux say, whoa, what should I do, right? But there is also something else. There is something called Arch. Oh, there we go again. Let's first load my keys. Let's first load my keys. Load keys. How oh, was it again? Latin one. That's Azerti for me. Yay. And then I can start typing Arch something. What was it called? Arch install, I think the application is. So last time I tried it, it was also in VirtualBox and I made a topic on their GitHub saying ah, it, wasn't, it was unsuccessful, but it seemed I had made some mistakes and so fair enough. So let's have a look again. Um, you can choose a layout that isn't in this list, but whose name you know. Also, you can enter a question mark question mark for more so normally it would be be or something or enter to exit from the search so be latin i know my number now i should really type be dash latin one like i just did so zero select one of the above keyboard languages i don't want to make mistakes i'm going to read a little bit more <laughs> zero and now, what's that? This, you can skip this step by leaving the option blank. Select the one uh, to download packages from. One of the above. Actually, Sweden, 58, that's Osbeck. That's a fast one for me. Select one or more hard drive to use and configure. Hmm. I guess it's one because it says block device SDA and the other one is my, well, so to speak, my ISO, my USB that's in there. Select one or more hard drive, leave blank to skip this step. Okay. Select what to do with each individual drive. Select what you wish to do with a selected block device. Select wipe all selected one, I guess. Create a new partition. Wow, everything changed. I think I've already made a wrong turn. <laughs> Going to the difficult way of doing things rather than just do it automatically for me. Ah, number one. Suggest partition layout for block device. Suggest partition layout. X4 is my still very much my way of doing things. Select what to do. Create a new partition. Suggest partition layout. I thought I've already did that. I must have done something wrong. 
next four I keep on doing this keep on going in here ah yeah leave blank when done all right okay enter <laughs> leave blank no swap or z rom like swap on z rom no and then um, desired host name i think we passed it i keep on making mistakes right uh no 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 just arch Linux or something and the root password a very difficult one what's this a profile x org minimal system x org and drivers server things minimal things desktop let's go for desktop Ali. desktop 11 xfc that we know and then select your desired desktop environment now we're talking about graphical drivers leave blank to install all open drivers so here the talk what i just made videos about amd ati open source all open source that's default intel open source nvidia open source so nouveau and nvidia proprietary so nvidia nvidia lts and nvidia dkms and the vmware stuff select a graphics driver or leave blank to install all well for us it's okay to install all and virtual box number five in my book i don't think we need it yeah we do kind of to interact between the two alpha so i'll just do open source default is number one leave blank to install old open door so i can do this both ways of having sound pipe wire or pulse audio we choose pulse audio i choose pipe wire linux kernel to use blank is linux okay write additional packages no leave one network interface to configure leave blank to skip number one network manager so easy enter valid time zone or press enter to use utc actually it's europe brussels if you know it by heart just type it yes please off it goes i did something wrong there in the blog devices but nevertheless as long as it installs you're happy you're fine and everything is uh, dandy so to speak so though which shadow system d they're making a tpo the busy box and curses fake root read it you don't get all the words but read it in 20 years time you'll know them all <laughs> or sooner or later so i'm reading them which lego blocks are installed basically 138 making the cpio is busy did we see xfc no eh? so that's still up to do grub now this is network manager so we're getting internet yay this is sound pipe wire stuff so this is the the summary if you want pipe wire go and look at the list this is how pipe wire is installed just open it up it's a script read it copy paste in a script you've got pipe wire that's um, internet as well here we have xorg stuff so we'll boot into something graphical that would be nice and here we have xfc4 xfc4 goodies as well speed is actually okay
Nitro. It can go faster, but okay, that's all right. In the meantime, we read. Tunor is there. Oh, light yam. Did I get the choice choosing as a young light yam? Don't think I've seen that. Choices to get that. Would you like to shroot into the newly developed thingy? No. Who cares? You may now reboot. Okay. Pseudo reboot now. I think the issue with virtual box is gone, which is good. Okay, I'm not a user yet. So some somewhere down the line, something went wrong with users. I made another mistake. So I never created an Eric guy. And I think we can't, oh, we can log in <laughs> as root. That's not normal. But, well, well, we've got something anyway. So we've got a system, but I'm root. Shh. We're not supposed to log in as root, but okay. Sudo so pacman minus s. We're all, all good, right? Sudo so pacman minus s. New fetch. So it's still for me looking my way of doing things. But what I find more interesting is the details and what I mean by the details. Um, yeah, actually, I could first go here and show you which arch, uh, where will it be? User bin arch install. Is that with it? It's probably not installed. Ah, it's bash completion installed. Pacman minus s bash completion. No, it was not installed. So I'm root. <laughs> Reminds me of the movie. I'm root. Okay. So what is this thing called again? Arch something. So it's not going to be on the system. This application that we're looking for. Minus S arch. How is it called? Arch install. Just another guided automated Arch Linux installer with a twist. Yes, twisting is okay. So sudo nano. I hope it's there. Arch install. This is what interests me more. If it is this. To see whether what's in there or what's not in there. By that I mean the actual packages that are selected. If you select server, if you select XFCE, if you select X or what things, what Lego box, right, have been chosen to go on there. That will be something I'll do off camera. All right. So, yep, it works. I kind of like my Calamaris way of th doing things, but. Just wanted to give it a go because some of us out there want to have different ways of installing and the different wave on ways of waves, yeah, ways of installing have been explained already a little bit. Maybe I could put this video on there. 
because it says start here and goal and vision create your own distribution um, uh, was it here let me see let me see um, was it here start here get started build your own ISO personal no 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 where did I put it the way of installing more things so that's the goal and the vision of Carly create your own distribution more and more people create their own ISO Arch Linux installers that's where I've put it using the column Arch installer ISO to install Arch Linux an option installing LARPs on Arch Linux D oh why not using Carly 3 to use LARPs then Arch Linux fast installer ALFI I think it is and uh, Anarchy Linux and there is so many options so basically maybe we should put it here because this is one of the Arch Linux installers that now is working on VirtualBox so it merits its place you still need to find out what kind of options you like but it's up to you right I am here to show you here it works and, and figure it out and select the things you like if there are things that are not working there is a maintainer asking on the github saying look i want to do this and then that how should i do it or can this be done or can that be done and ask him how or her how it's done all right putting that video on that website cheers